Hey guys, welcome to another objective review. Today, iOS 10 launches officially and it's going to be rolling out in a couple of hours. So before that, let's take a look at what's new in iOS 10 and what has changed since iOS 9. The very first change that I would like to talk about and one of my most favorite changes that has come in iOS 10 is improved music and improved maps. Now, I live in India and you might be thinking, what is he talking about, improved maps? Like, maps has never worked in India since the refresh. Well, actually, it has gotten a bit better. Now, it hasn't gotten significantly better, but nonetheless, it's better. There is some progress and I'm absolutely happy about this. Now, secondly, the music app. Now, back in iOS 9, the music app was a Cluster. Yeah. But in iOS 10, it has not only become better, the navigation has dramatically been improved, and overall, it's a much more visual experience when you're looking at it. And when you just want to listen to music, well, the app completely gets out of the way. You can quickly start playing your music, and that is it. It's that simple now. Now, of course, when I'm talking about this, I'm referring to the Apple Music subscription and since that has launched I have completely stopped syncing my locally stored music onto my phone and it has just gotten better at how quickly the music downloads and starts playing back and uh, Beats Radio is fantastic. I listen to it almost three to four hours a day when I'm working and that's pretty solid. But alright, enough of music. Right, so let's get down to photos. Now, Apple keeps talking about how great their cameras are on their phones and now with the iPhone 7 coming in, well, it's gonna change the playing field. Well, to address that, they've updated the Photos app and what they've actually done is pretty interesting. Now, they've embedded machine learning into the OS itself. Now, remember, none of this information is going to Apple's servers or, well, to begin with, it's not leaving your device. It's all happening on your device. So here's something to remember. When you first install iOS 10 and if your phone starts just rapidly draining the battery, well, it's all because of this. And trust me, it's absolutely worth it. Now what this machine learning bit in the Photos app is going to do is start analyzing your photos uh, to look for objects it think it knows about, start learning about new objects like valleys and mountains and rivers and people's faces as well. So it's pretty interesting and it's going to make, start making collections of these, uh, especially about the faces and you can tag these faces saying, okay, this is my mom and this is my brother and so on and so forth. And when you want to search for a specific photo, now you don't have to try and remember the date. You can, if you're looking for a photo of some valley or a river or a lake, you can just type that in and Photos already has analyzed your photos. So it knows what to look for exactly and in which section of the database to look in. So it's just going to go there, pick out the photo and show it to you on your screen. So it's become really, really fast and really, really interesting what Apple has done with the Photos app. So what's new in Safari 10, apart from being a lot faster, supporting a much modern JavaScript syntax or whatever you want to call it, and it's become a lot faster, more stable, better security. But the most interesting one is that Apple Web is now usable from within Safari. Now this was previously only available for native apps, but now even web apps or websites can use them directly. And this is also available on macOS Sierra starting. Another interesting thing that Apple did in iOS 10 was give Siri access to developers. So now developers can take full advantage of Siri in their own apps. So soon once these app updates start rolling in, you should be able to use Siri with your favorite apps. Now Apple has demoed this with Lyft during the keynote and I believe a couple of other apps. So the moment those app updates come on your devices, they should be usable. And the way you access home screen has been changed a bit in iOS 10. So when you first update to iOS 10, it might be a little bit confusing. Previously, we swiped towards the left to access our home screens. Well, now you just have to press on the home button. That's it. You can immediately access your home screen. Now, this is a bit confusing. And if you do prefer the old method, uh, well, 
you're out of luck. But if you're using, or if you have a device that has Touch ID on it, well, what you can do is go into settings accessibility and then turn on a setting that allows you to simply rest your finger on the Touch ID. It's gonna scan it, verify it, and authenticate you and into the home screen. Or you can still use the current behavior of first tapping on the home, home button and then authenticating. Apple has also shifted the today's screen towards the left of the springboard. So that's quite an interesting change. Now you can immediately tell which apps have been updated to take advantage of iOS 10 and all the new features it brings by simply looking at the today widget it offers if it does offer one. So for all the apps compiled against iOS 9, well they're going to have a darker home today widget. And all the newer apps from iOS 10, well they're going to have a lighter today widget. So that's a pretty neat way to distinguish if your favorite apps are taking advantage of new stuff that has come in iOS 10. One minor interesting feature upgrade that the Notes app has gotten is collaboration, which now kind of makes sense that they have announced live collaboration in the iWork apps as well. So that's pretty useful if you have to use that. Also, accessing your iCloud Drive files has gotten a lot easier. Uh, maybe when you first uh, go into the home screen after updating, or maybe using it after a couple of times, iOS is gonna prompt you and ask you if you wanna add the iCloud Drive app to your home screen. And if you say yes, it's gonna add a new app to your home screen. So yeah, you can access all your iCloud files from there. Talking about apps and installing apps, well, you can now remove the pre-installed Apple apps that you don't need. But do remember that if you delete Safari or if you delete the mail app and since some apps use these as services within their own uh, systems and say you tap on a link uh, that is supposed to toggle a email prompt well it's no longer going to work now if you're in some other third party app and it wants to open a url for you to view in the browser but if you don't have safari installed well that's not going to work either so yeah what you remove and what you don't is up to you but do remember that it can have significant consequences if you remove the wrong apps. Scary. Now one absolutely beautiful feature that Apple has added in iOS 10 is called bedtime. What you can do with bedtime is set an alarm telling uh, the OS that hey I'd like to go to bed every day at so and so pm or so and so am and you know I would like to sleep for seven and a half hours or eight hours or whatever you'd like to sleep for and Apple is going to automatically detect when you're sleeping or going to bed and set an alarm 7 or 8 hours later to that and just wake you up after that. I've been using it for the past 3 months and it has worked pretty well for me and all of this data can be tracked inside the health app under the sleep tab so do try it out and do check it out. If it works for you, it'll do wonders. If it doesn't, We'll try something else. Well, that's a quick roundup of what you should expect getting into iOS 10. Now, there are a couple of hiccups here and there that still may be there even after the long beta process. So, given that the 10.0.1 build is already out, uh, you might want to hang in there if you come across a bug, but don't forget to tell Apple about it. In any case, well, iOS 10 is going to be a wonderful update for you coming from iOS 9 or if you've still been hanging around on iOS 8 for whatever reason, well, you're going to be loving it. Well, if you like this review, hit the like button. If you just liked it, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.